We had a frost last night. Let's see if you can see. And I'm really hoping that our trees that were blooming didn't the blooms didn't all die from the frost. I'm hoping that didn't happen. Cause here's those blooms. Nice and wide open. I'm here this morning because um, I get to be here to to help for a little while because I already have 40 hours in at work and they want to try to keep us at 40 hours but lo and behold I still have two events I have to do today but the first one's not going to be until I don't have to leave until about 10 10 30 so I get to help with milking get a little videoing in and uh, just say good morning to everybody and then I'll take off a little bit later Here's the Buster Dog. This guy just, he just loves the lovins. Look at, oh, he loves the lovins. Don't you, Buster? Oh, yeah. Hi, Daisy girl. And Daisy's just a love mongrel, too. Look at this love mongrel. She just goes bananas. Hi, love girl. You ready? You ready for some booties? Hi, girl. Here's what Joseph does most of the time. He finishes breakfast and he comes out and starts playing in the garden. What are you working on, critter? No, no, don't do that. What are you gonna do with that water? He's putting sawdust in there. What are you gonna do with that water? water. Looks like I'm about to have a kitty attack. Yep, yeah, here he comes. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, funny boy. Maybe that that twat. Is that kitty poop? Maybe that twat, baby. Maybe. Okay. Go ahead and keep doing what you're doing. You can play. You can do that, sawdust. That's okay. Is there any end to the fun that children can have this kind of lifestyle? I mean, there's endless creativity for them. Are you making pancakes? Huh? You making pancakes there, Crater? No? What's it? Soup? Yeah? Pizza? Yeah. That? Yeah. You're making that, huh? Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Cool. And today, we have a guy coming to work on the root cellar. So, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, we can get this root cellar in. Then we can get all this completed so there's the root cellar so we've had to leave this open so that cement truck could get through over here and after the root cellars in, we can finally do this the way we want to do it permanently okay I just wanted to show you guys real quick we I haven't told you that we live in an off-grid cabin and this cabin we built ourselves. Uh, it's totally solar powered and our hot water is a solar hot water system. There's our solar panels that gives us the power for the house. We do rainwater catchment into this tank here. This water is not filtered. And so we can use this rainwater for the garden and the animals. Then that tank, in the back of our house, that is also a 1500 gallon tank. That does rainwater catchment. We do have a pre-wash for that system. And that is what actually plums our house. Okay, I'm gonna go on a little walk down the back pasture here. Um, you've heard me talk about it. And down the back pasture, 
we have about three acres back here that would make pretty good graze land. Uh, we just need to do a little work in developing it. But back here we also have some big blackberry patches. This is a big old blackberry patch that actually extends all the way over to here. So you can see all those blackberries there. All of this is blackberry. All this in here. Pretty good sized blackberry patch. See these bright green trees? Those are called autumn olives or Russian olives. They produce an edible berry on them, a really tasty edible berry. You can always see the autumn olives at this time of year because they, they green up first. That one there, this one there, and a the little one there. Oh, there's one. Look at that one. All these autumn olives. This is my favorite walk on the property. I come back here because it's nice and quiet. I can hear the creek. And when I look around, all I can see are trees and grasses and bushes and birds and things. And I can hear chickens crowing and ducks or yeah, ducks quacking and geese squawking. But oh, it's peaceful. It's nice. This is another big autumn olive tree here. We've picked this thing was so fruitful last year. It was unbelievable. Here's a cool thing that we found just this just this last year. This bush thing here, that's a hazelnut. And it was just growing here wild. We found it. It's always cool to find uh, naturally growing things. Huh. There's a deer back there taking off. I think our dog Daisy scared the deer off. There's another hazelnut that we found just this last year. Big bush, huh? So I cleared around it. I did. I cleared around it. I did chop and drop. Everything I cleared, I tossed at the base of the hazelnut. And so we'll see what happens. We've never harvested off of this one at all. Uh, that's another hazelnut back there that I didn't totally clear around or anything, didn't get to it because I didn't even see it until I was like done clearing this one. This is a redbud tree. And this is a cool tree. Uh, these buds here, they are edible and they're tasty. Uh, and then they will, this tree will also produce a pod and that pod is edible. See this other red bud right here in the background? It's got a bunch. I was about to go back, but I decided, well, I'm gonna take you all the way to the creek. So that you can go all the way on this walk here. All this is still our property. We have a total of 20 acres here. Here's the creek. And this creek runs along probably 150 yards. Boy, it's hard to say with all the turns and everything. About 150 yards of our property or so. This is where we always cross to go up the trail, to go up into the deeper woods even. Taking my boys up there and we've camped. So thank you for coming for coming with me on my walk of serenity that I often take. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. And I look forward to continuing this adventure and bringing you along with us as much as we can on this adventure of building this off-grid permaculture homestead where we're creating regenerative food systems for our children and beyond. Thank you again.